Morgan. I'm one of the instructors here at Skydive Spaceland. Here today to talk about proper door etiquette with a roll type door, such as on a Twin Otter, a Caravan, or our Super Van here. What we're going to try to talk about today is proper etiquette in regards to when and how to open and close the door for the safety and comfort of everybody inside the aircraft. First we want to think about before the plane takes off closing the door. We want to make sure that we guide the door down all the way until it closes. If we push and just get it going, it could slam down, possibly breaking the door and disallowing it from being opened at jump time, and that's no fun at all. If you need a helper, have somebody get to the back of the door, give it a gentle push just to get it started. Once it starts moving, it should move just fine the whole rest of the way down. When sitting by the door, make sure your rig is not scrunching against anything at the end of the bench or against the bulkhead. It could possibly pull one of your two pins. When getting up, you want to make sure that your handles aren't snagged on any part of the door, the benches, any of the seatbelt attachment points, the bulkhead. At 1500 feet when it's warm outside, we might open that door to get some ventilation. First thing we want to do is make sure to check that all seatbelts are off of every jumper that has a rig. Especially check with any of the instructors who have a student with them. We want to think about opening from the center of the door, and if you need to, get a helper on either side. We want to make sure to slowly roll that door up until it goes all the way to the stops. At about 6,000 feet on the way up, if we've had the door open to let some air in, we're going to make sure to close it. That's going to allow the instructors to properly talk to their students and make sure to brief them for their jump. Also, it's going to give the tandem instructors some time to get properly hooked up and get their students all ready to go. On the red light, it's time to open the door as we discussed before, nice and gentle, all the way to the stops, making sure that everything is clear of the bar. Next you want to check your spot. If you're going to be doing a floater exit, make sure you rotate your rig through the center of the doorway to keep it clear of any of the edges that might knock a pin loose. If you're doing a diving exit, you want to make sure to keep clear of the sides and the top of the door as you dive out. First thing we want to do, we want to check the track here to make sure all these panels are properly in the track. If not, we're going to have the pilot turn us back around. We'll have someone from maintenance help us get it back in before we go and try to take this plane in the air. If the door gets stuck for no apparent reason, you can only get a little bit of the way and it just won't go. We're not going to try to force it. What we're going to try to do back it up a little bit, then try to get it running again. That'll usually fix the problem for you. If not, we'll want to have somebody in maintenance help take care of it. If the door is stuck open, make sure you let everybody on the load know that it's stuck open. We're going to ride the rest of the way up if it's safe, and then let out at normal jump altitudes. If it's stuck closed, we want to make sure the pilot knows so that he can take us back down, land and have maintenance help open it up for us. Of course, if there's a problem with the door, make sure the pilot knows. He's in charge of this aircraft. Also then, we'll make sure that everybody else on the plane knows what's going on. And always, if you're ever having trouble with a door, ask a local experience jumper or one of the helpful, friendly staff here at Skydive Spaceland will help you out when you're in need. Blue skies. Hey!